hands first, okay, Esther? Okay. After, after you wash your hands? Yeah. Okay. Then put four cups of flour in a bowl. Four cups of flour. Four cups of flour in a bowl. Let's see how many we get out of that big angel for one. Four. What is this? A quarter cup of sugar? A quarter cup of sugar. Okay. I just missed the first uh, four, 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 cups, four of cups of flour. You get to do the Christmas bowl. Four. 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 Oh, there's a teaspoon right there. Yeah, that's a teaspoon. That's probably a bit less, actually. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Now we need three tablespoons of baking powder. I'm going to do three heaping ones of these, which should be three tablespoons. Not as accurate as it should be. But. Did you mix that up together? Two. Mixing your sugar. When you're doing this at home. I have a proper tablespoon. Okay. okay, I'm going to mix this now. Okay. I now have all the dry ingredients, the flour, the sugar, the salt, and the baking powder. It's a good thing, Martha. Yes, it is. It's a good thing, Ron. <laughs> yes, I like raisins. Let's put a few raisins in. How about like um, about half a cup of raisins? Okay, now take this out. Let's see how much that looks like. It's going to put some raisins Okay. Yes. Okay. You could probably put a bit more. I'm certainly ready, thank you. And that was how much lard? Like bit, that is a half a cup. Half a cup of lard. Okay. Take note, half a cup of, a cup of lard is just added to the okay. dry mix. I also need two eggs. I'm going to beat you one eggs um, first. Put that in. Make like uh, pink. Yeah, yeah. High pastry first. Before you put the eggs yeah. in? Before okay, you put the all right. I can do that. Um, so what you want to do is cut the fat yeah. into the yeah. dry. So you can start with a fork to work the, the fat in more. There's the boss keeping an eye on things. Yeah. So you don't want to have any big chunks of lard left. You want to work it in. Okay. So you can start to see a little bit there. Well, that's what you're doing, right? Yeah. That's working it in so you don't see any big chunks of the lard. It's all worked into the flour. Okay. I see. Okay. All right. Oh, there's another <laughs> chunk to get rid of that one. Now, two eggs. Two eggs. Those are for me. My... These are for me, Esther. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. One. Make a little hole. Yeah, a little okay. well. It's well. only one egg, isn't it? There's one egg. Do it one at a time. Because sometimes your eggs are bad. One cup and one third of milk. Okay. Into my little well. And you rid the old. All right. There. Now, Stir. I'm going to mix that all in. I'll use the, the like fork or spade first. Eggs, Colleen? Yes. Okay. Oh, looking good. It is. It's all so coming together here. Okay, now just gently mix now. Okay, okay. I'm now going to use my hands a little bit to work this in better. No, to try. So now we're going to do. Okay, now let's take it in. You want to make sure you get all the flour from the bottom worked in? Now you can take a flour from there. You want if you have a wider bowl, it's a little bit easier, but this is fine. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. Wow. That's not a long process, is it? No, it's not that hard, actually. As long as you, uh, the main thing is just to get all the dry ingredients together first before you start adding any of the wet ingredients. Now, just spread in the pans. Okay. And that's enough milk, is it? it looks like it, eh? Seems like it. I mean, we didn't, um, you have to work it in. I mean, if, I mean, if it's uh, really dry outside or your flour has really been packed down a lot, you might need a little bit more. But, 
Somebody told me that you shouldn't beat Bannock for too long. Yeah. Well, I think not either, because it's going to get too, it won't rise. So. It'll get too tough? Yes. So. Now we need a pan. In the pan. See, there's still flour that hasn't uh, been absorbed, so I'm thinking it's going to be. Yes. Yeah. it down. Now, did you, do, uh, in Gretchen tradition, do you ever bake them in individual biscuits, or is it yeah. always made in a pan? Yeah. You do it both ways? But when you're in a rush. You do it like this. Yeah. And we are in a rush today, apparently. <laughs> Is there another one ready for the oven? Yes. Okay. Oh, all right. Another successful looking bag. Okay. There. Is there a timer here? Yes. Oh, it doesn't need to be too much. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you just Bring the pan. And also turn the light on. So if it works, so we can check on it maybe shortly before the 20 minutes to see if it's getting too brown. Because some ovens are hotter than others. Oh, I'm making class. <laughs>